All right, guys, just got my turtle, and um, I want to show you something really crazy. I don't know what's going on over here. This is a bug that is actually going to work out in my benefit. What's up, Cage Rangers? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Green Hell. And my voice is going to be a little weird because it is like 7.30 in the morning, and I woke up not too long ago. But you know what? Um, Got to make some videos, and uh, I've been dying to play this world again. I really, really am enjoying this game. And um, my goodness, uh, I can't wait to get to work on that base. Let's get to work on that base. I'm thinking I might be able to finish it today, but I'm not sure. Um, I'll probably be able to get most of it done today and like call it a finished base. But, it, you know, there might be a little thing here and there, you know, little things here and there to do. But uh, for the most part, I'm, I think I'm going to call the base finished today. You'll know if I finished it or not, because um, it will be the title of the video in the thumbnail. So, oh, let's take that unknown nut. How long do those take to go bad? Those unknown nuts, because they're pretty good for fats. Oh, wow, they take a couple days. Very good. Very good. All right, let me show you what I got planned out here. Let me show you what I've been... Oh, a lot of unknown nuts in my base. Cool. So let's come on over here and grab them. Oh man, look at them all. They're falling from that tree. And they seem to they seem to drop a lot more uh a lot more now. So anywho, alright, so got a bunch of rocks here. My there was some kind of glitch with my fireplace where when I put down my fireplace, um, for some reason I only clicked it once, but I put down like six fireplaces in the ghost image. Not the fireplace itself, but the 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 stone surrounding it, right? So what happened was there were six ghost images down and I didn't know. So I started putting these rocks in there. I put like five rocks in there. But then I was like, ah, oh, I wanted to move the fireplace. So I deleted the fireplace. And every time I put a rock in, it put a rock in every single ghost image. So um, basically it spammed a bunch of rocks for me. So that's awesome. So I'm going to have to go out and grab some rocks. Um, this right here is going to be my stick, uh, stick holder. My other stick holder. This is going to be stuff for generic storage items. Although it's kind of hard to see them on the ground. I might try and put something in here this game needs tables i'd like to put something in here that's like wood or something so i don't have to put stuff on the ground but if i have to put stuff on the ground then that'll be fine for now um this is going to be a smoker obviously this right here is going to be where i'm going to drop all my my bidens this is going to be this is going to be a um what is this going to be oh that's going to be a regular fireplace and then this is going to be a um, a log holder, like, cause the thing is with logs, you could break logs into sticks. Uh, the idea is I want to keep stuff in here that I'm going to need for fire, for fires and to keep fires going. Um, and that's all about sticks. Um, also I decided to put the weapon rack right out here out front. I figure I, I run out my base, grab a weapon. I put a weapon before I go in my base. My base is safe. So I don't need weapons in my base. Plus the, this, the, the weapon rack was a little bit big to go in here. You could put it in here, but the thing is, if you put a bow on the weapon rack, the bow actually sticks out the top of the roof. It was kind of annoying. Um, the only place I might have been able to put the weapon rack um, would have been in here. Uh, I'm going to show you right now why I didn't, because it was really annoying me. Um, you could put the weapon rack in here, but it's all sideways and cockeyed. I can't. I, I, no, just no. Can't deal with that. Plus, I need a place to put my Bidens. I want to I wanna have, like, a, a storage area for Bidens. Okay. Um. All right, let's get building. So, what do we want to build first? Let's go ahead and build the smoker because I'd like to see if you can actually put a fire underneath it. Because I don't... I mean, I assume you can in here, but you never know with the weird building mechanics in this game. Um, I also want to say, someone was mentioning in the comments that don't buy this game. It's 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 all buggy and it's, it's broken. I don't think it's broken. It's definitely got some bugs that are some serious annoyances. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie about that. There's some bugs and they're kind of annoying. But at the same time, this is an early access game, guys. If you are not going to be able to deal with bugs, if you can't deal with bugs, if they drive you crazy and you don't want bugs, don't by the, any game that I play, really. I mean, every game I play is in early access. And early access games are going to have bugs. That's just the way it is. I got to tell you guys, having this banana tree over here has been wonderful. Um, I already picked it, so you can't see it right here, but this this is growing bananas. Also, this right here, the unknown fruit, I actually ate this the other day off camera, and I almost died from it. Um, I was puking. I was, like, basically drinking water as I was throwing up at the same time, just trying to keep my health up. Um, eventually, the food poisoning ran its course. Um, I think there's things in here that I could... Can you eat charcoal for food poisoning or something? The thing is, as it was happening, I was panicking. I was thinking to myself, Cage, there's ways to deal with this. What are they? And I could not for the life of me remember, and I was just panicking. So, it was pretty uh, pretty crazy. All right, so what's next? We need the bam Ooh, we need bamboo sticks. Okay. All right, well, let's do some stuff that does not take bamboo for the time being. 
And uh, I'll go get I'll go get some bamboo sticks. We we don't have any bamboo sticks. Actually, are those big sticks or small sticks? These are yeah, they're sticks. Oh, okay. So I do have the sticks. Okay. I'm a little bit confused. Are there small bamboo sticks? There might actually not be, now that I think about it. Okay, so what do I need here? I need more bamboo sticks. I, I could have swore I dropped some bamboo sticks around here. Man, I thought three would have been enough, but I guess not. Can you craft these into bamboo sticks? Yes, you can. I prefer not to do that, but we've got a lot of these here, and I'll go get more in between videos, so it's going to save me some time. And time is of the essence. All right, so let's go ahead and throw these down. Don't save the game. Okay, and then we need to put a, uh, what's that? That's probably another bamboo stick. Am I gonna have to do that from the outside? Or am I gonna be able to get that one at all? Or do we not do that one next? No, I think that is the next one. Oh boy, we might have a problem there. We might have a hard time getting to that one. All right, well, let's take a look. I'm gonna try and get to it from up here. Yep, there we go. Where there's a will, there's a way, boys. Now we put the rope in. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, well, I think it was last video I was talking about how I was gonna um, make this. I was gonna, I was gonna break this out. Actually, I don't think I talked about it. I was gonna break this out and make it a full-fledged frame, but there's a bug in the game. Again, bugs, early access. There's a bug in the game where if I break out this, um, this shed, the roof stays there, and it's you can't break it out. It's impossible to get rid of it. It doesn't always happen, but it happens on this one. So, I mean, it doesn't always happen. Like, if I break out this one, the roof might collapse. If I break out that one, the roof might stay. It's kind of random. And this right here, I've broken out multiple times, and the roof always stays. It's kind of annoying. Also, I accidentally put a second roof in there, because when you go to put a roof on something, the white roof ghost image, you can't delete it. If you go to put a white roof ghost image down, be very careful and save the game first, because you cannot delete it. This already had a roof on it, and I put a ghost image on it of another roof, and I couldn't get rid of the second roof, so I had to build it. So this has got a double roof on it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, banana leaves. We, we finally have a use for the banana leaves, guys. That's awesome. Oh, more bananas. Cool. Whoa, you hear that? Where is that guy? There's a spider in the area. Damn it, I can't see him. I'd really like to not get poisoned. I want to kill the thing, but I don't want to get poisoned, so I'm going to I'm gonna leave him alone. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and eat some bananas. Uh, we'll eat a nut, because why not? Get some fats. Okay, and we'll drink some water. No, we won't, because we don't have any water. All right, it's fine. All right, let's go ahead and pick some more bananas. I think they put the spiders next to things that are important, like bananas. So when you come over here, you get bit. All right, I got to stop. I got to stop. I really want to find that damn spider. I don't want a spider that close to my base. It doesn't matter, but it'll bother me. All right. How many of these do we need? Five? We can carry six. So let's go back with six just in case. I'm gonna get that spider. I wanna get a I wanna get a um I wanna get something to cure my poison before I do. There we go. We only needed five. What do you know? What do you know, Joe? Alright, so that's a um place where we could uh make smoke meat. Why do I need smoke meat when I have the when I have the soup? I don't really need smoke meat. I'm just gonna do it because I like to make different things. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the fire underneath. There we go. And let's go ahead and build that sucker up. Okay, the fire is now done. At least the fire ring. Let's go ahead and put the fire in there. And I don't have any sticks at all, but I think I got some down here. I drop sticks all the time, and then I forget where I drop them. It's really annoying. Um, oh, there's my bamboo sticks. That's where I dropped them. Okay. All right, well, it is what it is. All right, so let's put what we can in here. Now we need big sticks. There's the big sticks. Nope, that's small sticks. There's a big stick. I got some logs that I can turn into big sticks. 
So let's uh let's drop the bamboo again and then then you know next video we'll need bamboo and we'll forget where we dropped it. But you know, such is life. Alright, let's go ahead and harvest this. See how you can harvest this to get a bunch of big sticks? That's why I wanted the log holder the log holder inside. There we go. Alright, now we can smoke some meat, boys. Hell yeah. Alright, so again, I don't know what I'm gonna do over here. I might put a fire there. Or I might just uh, save it for storage. I'm not really sure. But the next thing I know I want to do is I want to put a fire right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop some of those stones out of the way. And then we're going to put a fire here. And I want to put a grill over the fire. The thing is, I yeah, you put the fire first, I believe. Oh, am I going to be able to put a grill in there? I should be able to... Hmm. Should we put the grill in first? I think we should. Because um, we might not be able to put it as far in as we'd like. And then we'll put the fire underneath it? Ah, it's a little tricky. A little tricky. Let's try putting down the fire first. When I did this last time, I put down the fire first. And I don't know if that matters. Um, it probably does. There's a lot, of, a lot of weird things in this game. Where when you put stuff down in certain orders, it, like, it works and it doesn't work. See, that's not going to... Nope, that's not going to work. Alright, so we do have to put down the grill. For Actually, that's not too bad. I'd kind of like to move the fire out a little bit. Yeah, let's move the fire a little bit. Nope, not the grill rack. Can we do the fire? Oh, we can't get rid of the fire with the grill rack over it. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Alright, well, there we go. We learned a lesson. Fire rack first. That looks good. And then we put this underneath. That's offset a little bit, and it's going to drive me up a wall. Ugh. All right, so I will be honest with my neurotic behavior. A lot of you guys probably can't tell the difference, but I can. That's much better lined up. So let's go ahead and build this sucker. And um, and then, yeah, I mean, then we're going to get the log holder. And um, I just lo I love having the log holder and all the stick holders in here. It's just going to... I mean, honestly, I don't use wood for fires anyway. To be perfectly honest, I only use charcoal, but um, it's more of a role play thing. Like you know, you you, you come into a building. Um, I used to live in a house with with wood burning. Sto Actually, my second and third house I ever lived in both were heated by wood burning stoves. Um, as a matter of fact, the uh, the second house I ever lived in, um, we were really poor, and my my mom uh, got left by her husband and. Um, and we were dirt poor, so we could we couldn't afford anything. So we actually we, we actually couldn't afford to to run the heat in our house. Um, so what we had to do was we um, we kept the wood burning stove going because we had a we had a bunch of wood outside. So um, yeah, I mean I, I and like you have wood like inside next to the wood burning stove. You all, we also had it out on a porch. Actually, you know what? The way I grew up, maybe that is part of the reason I like survival games so much. I mean, the idea of having um, something inside a wood burning stove inside. And having like a, a, a storage of wood inside um, kind of speaks to me. That's interesting. I never thought about that before. I kind of grew up in survival a little bit from like not not for a lot of my life for you know a couple of years, probably well actually a few years maybe thirteen to sixteen or seventeen, seventeen maybe something like that. Then we moved in with my mom's new boyfriend, <laughs> and um, he had a wood burning stove, but he also had heat in the building. So if like the wood burning stove couldn't heat up the entire, um, the entire house, he could just you know turn on the heat. And I used to chop wood when I was a kid, man. I used to have to you know, 16 years old, I had to earn my way, man. Like uh, my mom's boyfriend would be like, yeah, you don't pay rent, and I know you're in school, but you're gonna go out. Basically, it was chores. And he used to, every Saturday have me um, uh, split logs with a log splitter. It wasn't like I was sitting out there with an axe or anything. The log splitter was, was powered by um, hydraulics, I guess, and uh, ran on gasoline. And basically, it was just this big, this big axe that would come down very slowly into the log and just split the log. It was really cool. All right, so we should have this done. Uh, we just need some rope, and we have... Oh, we ran out of rope. I was wondering when I was going to run out of rope. I built quite a few things that required rope, and I'm like... Hmm, I have a lot of rope, man. What's up with that? I think we're going to do some hunting today as well. If we, I mean, well, it depends. I mean, this is taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to. But I would like to do some hunting today. There we go. 
And I actually want to work with this as well, because apparently, well, I'm not going to work with it, but apparently, I just want to test this out. You could put stuff on. Oh, see, I never made the grilling rack because I thought the meat hung here, and I didn't know you could boil stuff on the grill rack. That's freaking amazing. Oh, hells to the F and yeah. All right, what does this take? More long sticks. Ugh. Long sticks. They take so long to get. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. I'll be here all day. Um, yeah. The thing is, uh, I'd rather work with bamboo sticks because they're a lot easier to get, even though I have to go across the river to get them. All right, guys. I've got about everything I want done in the base. The base is... You know, there's some walls left to do. I don't know if I'm going to get to those today. Uh, because what I want to do is I want to test out all the cooking stuff in there. I want to use the bamboo smoker. I want to use the grill, which I've never used before. Um, so I think we're going to do it. And we need we need protein anyway. We need protein in the worst way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go do some hunting. So let's see if we could find some of these um, Calarabra or whatever the hell they're called. I don't remember. Oh, we could have got him. Well, we might, might st still be able to. Let's see if we can get this armadillo. I think, isn't armadillo meat, like, really good, or... I think it is. Where'd he go? Where'd you go, you little son of a bee? Oh. Where is he? I can hear him, but I don't see him. Alright, well, whatever. I was hoping he got stuck on the wall, but... No such luck. Alright, well, let's look for anything we can kill. Even a rattlesnake. Oh, here we go. Cool. Nailed him. Wow, that was a good shot. Damn, right through his freaking body. Pwned, sucker. Oh, we need a knife for this, don't we? Wait, we have a knife? Oh, yeah, we do. We always keep a knife in number three slot. All right, that's good. That's very good. I'd also, if I could, maybe want to look really quickly. I'm not going to look too long. But if I could if I could find a um, Cassabra plant, that would be awesome as well. Also, um, I think either this video or next video, I'm going to go over... I need to kill a turtle every day. That's what I need to do. You've seen it before. I don't need to show you. I'm going to go kill a turtle off camera in this video. Or off camera, in between cuts. Maybe in this, maybe during this video, maybe after it. I don't know. It doesn't really matter to you. I'm going to go get a turtle. Because um, I think they respawn every time I reload the game or something. So I should, I should really be getting turtles quite often. All right, I'm not seeing it. I don't want to look for this for too long. All right, all right. That's my um, that's my cue. I haven't saved in a while. That's my cue to go home. All right, guys, just got my turtle, and um, I want to show you something really crazy. I don't know what's going on over here. <laughs> this is a bug that is actually going to work out in my benefit. There is a bird nest spawn over here that is out of control. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know what the heck is going on here, but there's eggs all over the place. There's birds nests all over the place. I came over here like a few videos ago. And um, I grabbed some eggs, and like there was like six or seven eggs here, but there was only one bird's nest. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but that is really nice. Um, we've got lots of meat to cook up. We've got turtle shells. So I want to bring as many turtle shells to the new base as possible because I want to start living there. The only reason I have to come back here is because I gotta grab more. Um, I gotta I gotta always grab water and stuff. Uh, I want the bones, but uh, I don't really need them as much as the turtle shell. We don't need all those fish bones, although. Um, Oh, yeah, we need the pot, too. Although, I will say this, guys. Sleeping on sleeping in my new bed at the new base does give me worms. So, you know, what are you going to do, right? See, turtle shells are the best because they like the pot, except I can keep getting them. So, we, well, I could see a time where I'm eventually just going to destroy all the coconut halves, honestly. Um, I'll leave them down for now, but... Oh, fruit right by my base. Cool. That's weird. That fruit must have grown. I don't remember seeing it earlier. I probably just missed it. All right. So here we are. Oh, we need to put a fire here. Crap. I forgot about that. All right. Well, let's put the pot in the middle. Let's take that down. Let's put that up there. Put that right there. Put that um, right there. And I'm not even going to... I'm going to try not to use the coconut bowls at all. That is freaking awesome. That might be my screenshot. Um, and then over here, we just put the meat right here. And we smoke it. Now, smoking the meat, I'm smoking the meat, smoking the meat is stupid, and I'm going to tell you why. It's basically wasting resources, because there is a bug in this game that if you cook something in a pot or one of these, you use one serving of meat or cassava or whatever, 
but this thing fills up with 25 this fills up with 30 um that 30 is multiple servings of the food right so if you cook food in if you cook food in a coconut bowl you get you get 10 10 hydration which is one serving of the food and it equals out to if you would eat the food without cooking it i think or at least close to it but if you cook it in the the pot which is 30 you could pour the pot into a biden and then pour the biden into these coconut bowls and then you could drink it three times so you're getting three times the servings by cooking it in a pot is it a bug is it realistic i don't know i mean if you if you made soup wouldn't you get three times now you did still be the same amount of nu nutrients but anyway, who cares? All right, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna still smoke a little bit of this meat just because I think it's fun. Um, can we smoke that? No, we can't. Can we smoke the bananas? We cannot. Okay, so I'm gonna smoke a couple things of meat just for the lulls, and then we're gonna go ahead and build up a fire here. All right, guys, let's light this sucker. There we go. All right, now we need to get some water in there. Um, the only thing about this base that's going to be rough is that, well, I could still fill stuff up in here because for some for some reason, um, even though it shouldn't be wet in here, stuff will still fill up, right, with hydration. So that's, that's a bit of a bummer, but what are you going to do? All right, so I do have a good amount of water in my uh, Biden, so let's go ahead and fill that one up, fill that one up, and, oh, just enough for all of them. Cool. And then meat... Meat and meat. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Aw. So they, they're glowing in here, but not in here. Pot water clean. Where did my meat go? Wait, where'd the meat go? It didn't... Aw, it didn't go in the bowl. Turtle shell water clean. All right, I'm not sure what's going on here. Does it not cook up top, or... I didn't see it cook. Oh, that's weird. So I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe you can't cook them up here? I don't know. Okay, that's real weird, guys. Now they cooked. That's so weird. I'm not really sure what happened there. I um, I actually took this one and dumped it into this Biden and then drank it. And, and it was only hydration, right? See, there was still some left. It was only hydration. But now it's got meat soup in it. So it did cook up here. It's just, um, I don't know. It was just, it was just acting very strange. All right, I definitely want this in the middle. All right, well, it worked, I, I guess. Let's, let's actually have a little bit of it just to kind of see. All right, so that's empty. Let's dump that in there. So Yeah, that's meat soup. Oh, hold on. It's got water. No, it doesn't. Okay, so you see how it's got... A it looks like there's liquid in there, but it says zero hydration. If you go to dump this in, you see how there's two icons? The one on the left means you're going to dump this into that container. The one on the right means you're going to scoop what's in that container. If there's a scoop option, that means there's something in there, even if it says zero hydration. So in order to not screw this up, you want to right-click and spill. You got to make sure that's empty. See, now there's only one. Shut up, timer. All right, so that's meat soup. That should work just fine. Oh, awesome. Just awesome. All right, do I want to move? I'm going to leave that there for water. Yeah, I'm going to leave that there for... This is where I'm going to put the water stuff. And my Bidens. Um, let's actually move this out of the way. There we go. And then this is where we dump all our Bidens. All right, um, are we going to... Am I going to go back to my other base and get stuff? I might not. I might just make stuff here. And I'm just going to keep all my Bidens over there. At least the empty ones. That is awesome, guys. That is awesome. So, we've now got uh, 20 of 40 in this one. All right. And then what we can do is... I could probably fit that all in there. Yeah, 20. Should we, we should fill that up, right? So, that's 20 of 40. That means there's five extra in this one. Um... Yeah, all right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump that in there. Oh, crap. See? You see what happened? I dumped the meat soup in here, and it automatically goes in your inventory. The the, the container automatically goes in your inventory for some reason. So when I dumped 10 in here, I lost 15. So that was a mistake. I know better, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so we're just going to dump that in there. So that's 30, that's 30 now. All right. So that one's um, empty, and this one's empty. That says it's 0 of 25, but it's meat soup. So I think that's still got meat soup in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab another empty Biden, bring it over here, and put it in there. There we go. Oh, it says it's got nothing in it. Okay, so that says 0 of 40 hydration, but it says it's got 
uh, meat soup in it. So that is bugged. Let's see if we need the meat. I'd actually like to eat it. Oh, we don't. All right. So I'm going to assume this has got meat soup in it. Although I don't really know. All right. We need, you know what we need to do? We need to find some... Uh, can you cook? You can't cook bananas, can you? I don't think you can. All right. We need to get some more turtle shells. That's what we need. Yeah, I don't think you can cook bananas. So what I want to do is I want to find a... Uh, a cassava plant. That's what I really want to do. So, also, well, there's a lot we didn't get done today. I'm probably just going to do all these ghost images off camera. You know what the stick holders are like. Um, should we go long? Let's go long. Screw it. I want to I wanna get these stick holders done today. Oh, God, we need more long sticks. Son of a bee. Yeah, we're going to go long, guys. I want to get those stick holders done. I don't mind building the walls off camera, but I want to build the stick holders for you guys on camera. Because, um... Sorry, thought I heard something. Because that's something we haven't done yet. So another thing I haven't shown you guys yet is that... And you probably know it, but I'm just going to show it to you people who don't know it. Um, don't let your fire run out. Uh, basically, all you have to do is take something with water in it, right? And then just dump it over it, and it'll put it out. And then you just have to start it again. Piece of cake. Uh, I'm going to put these over here. Are they getting water? No, they're not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag these off there so they can fill up with water. There we go. All right, and the stick holders are now done, so let's uh, let's go ahead and throw some sticks in there. There we go. I don't have a lot, but now can I mix those with bamboo sticks? No. No, I can't. It might not even hold bamboo sticks. All right, well, there you go. Now I can start organizing, guys. All right, so all we have is a couple walls to finish. I would call this base pretty much done. we got to put a roof over this as well. But um, I would call the base pretty much done. Just have some touching up to do. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.